On this episode of the Cocktail Spirit, we're going to look at the Ritz Cocktail of New York by Dale DeGroff, a drink I think needs to be considered a modern classic. Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. In this set of episodes, we're looking at modern classic cocktails, or, or better yet, drinks that I think should be considered as modern classics. Now, what does that mean exactly? What would it be, mean to be a modern classic? Well, I think the cocktail needs to be approachable. And by that, the drink needs to be a drink that is tasty, it needs to be a drink that all bartenders know how to make, it needs to be a drink that customers know to order, and it needs to be a drink that all bars have access to the ingredients necessary to make it on the fly. In this episode, we're going to look at the Ritz cocktail by Dale DeGroff, specifically what he calls the Ritz of New York. Now, Dale DeGroff has a fairly long history in, in as a bartender. Um, at the very beginning of that history, he was working for Joe Baum at Aurora in the early 1980s. Joe asked him to make up a new cocktail. And Dale decided he wanted to use one with all fresh ingredients. He looked around at different books and he found that there was a Ritz of Paris and a Ritz of London, and he wanted to create a Ritz cocktail of New York. He took the Ritz of Paris and twisted it slightly, specifically by using this ingredient that was new to him, maraschino liqueur. Now, being a Ritz cocktail, it obviously has to be slightly fancy, meaning that it's using champagne as one of his ingredients. Let's take a look at how to make the Ritz cocktail of New York. We're going to start off with three quarters of an ounce of brandy, or cognac, I should say. Cognac, as you know, being a brandy that comes from a specific region of France rather than just simply any great base spirit. We're then going to add a half ounce of Cointreau. and then a quarter ounce of maraschino liqueur. And rather than trying to use a quarter ounce line that might be on my little jigger, I'm going to use one and a half teaspoons of maraschino liqueur. And then we also add a quarter ounce of lemon juice. We add ice to this. And shake. Strain this into a uh, chilled cocktail glass. And now we top this off with champagne. We're going to add three ounces of champagne. Um, you could eyeball it. Uh, what I'd rec definitely recommend doing is the first few times you make this, make sure you measure the champagne out first so you can kind of taste what the flavor concept looks like with that specific amount of champagne. And then once you're familiar with the glass, you can just go ahead and notice that, okay, in order for this glass, in order to get three ounces, I need to add this much to it. Because obviously one of the problems with measuring champagne is it's going to foam up. So you want to pour slowly and try to pour it down the edge of the jigger. Bring it up to tension. There's one ounce. And there's two ounces. So now you get kind of an idea of where three ounces lies on the glass. 
And the next time you're using the same glass for it, you can kind of eyeball it into the glass from that standpoint. But the important thing is understand what the flavor tastes like with this amount to it. For a garnish, we're going to use one of Dale's favorite garnishes, which is the flamed orange twist. We've done this several times on the show already. Basically, you take and cut a coin of orange skin off, making sure to get enough of the pith on the back so you have enough structure to it that's going to add a good peel to it and also keep some of the oils in the skin itself. We then take a match, light it, let the sulfurs burn off, hold the skin against the flame to get it warmed up a little bit, and then squeeze. That's going to caramelize the oils onto the surface of it, as well as a few of the oils on the surface of the skin. Give the orange a twist to add more orange oils to it. Drop it in skin side up. And there we have the Ritz Cocktail of New York. I just think that's an excellent champagne cocktail. I mean, champagne cocktails always are excellent. They're always you know, worth having when you're in a celebratory mood. But this one has an awful lot of really interesting flavors coming through. The, the orange essential oils that have been coating the top of the drink are coming through at the olfactory level, so you're smelling those aromas coming through. But it's also being accentuated by the Cointreau that's adding that orange flavor to the background. Then we have the, the lemon juice is adding the sourness to the back, and the, as well as the dry sweetness that's coming from the maraschino liqueur. Uh, but I think you know, as, as the champagne cocktails go, I think this is an excellent example, and Dale did a really good job in creating this. So the next time you're at a bar in New York, or maybe anywhere else, you might want to consider trying to order the Ritz of New York cocktail by Dale DeCroft. This is a drink I think deserves to be considered a modern classic.